How's it Grant here? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about a major update I received on one of my phones. And no, it's not the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro January update that everyone's been talking about. I did get that on my 6 and 6 Pro, but I want to give it some more time and use it before I kind of give my opinion on how it's been performing and how it's been working for me. But what I did notice is that several days ago, my Galaxy A72 got the One UI 4.0 Android 12 update. And so I installed it, I've been using it for a bit, and I thought I'd give you my thoughts and opinions as well as what I'm noticing that's new. So as you can see here, uh, Android 12, so One UI 4 came through on the phone, and there's a ton of different updates that uh, Samsung has put on top of just the normal Android 12 features that you get from Google. They've done a lot of upgrades to a lot of the Samsung-based apps. So I'll go through what I've noticed and have noticed maybe missing that are on other devices and also just in general how it's been going on on the device and first off in general the a72 is a battery monster i've always gotten great battery life but as you can see here i've been getting three days off the charger with over six hours of screen on time on this day and that's more typical usage i mean i was using the camera quite a decent amount but mostly normal stuff like youtube playing around with photos editing photos and social media shopping on amazon all that stuff and I thought I'd try to really push it hard on another day. And I still got over three days of almost three and a half days of, uh, off the charger and nine and a half hours of screen on time. So 5,000 milliamp hour battery capacity in this phone. And some people may be scoffing at the things that it's missing. Like there's no high refresh rate. So no 90 hertz, no 120 hertz display. It's only quote unquote a 1080p display, but that those are things that are working in its favor. Coupled with that 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you're getting monster battery life here. And so that's one of the things that I love about the Galaxy A72. So that's kind of how battery life has been going. And there's my um, One UI Android 4 update. And if we go into here, you can see here it is running One UI 4.0, Android 12. We can go to the Easter egg here. And let's see if we can activate it one more time. Try it there. There we go, Android 12 on the A72, and it's got the December 1st, 2021 security update. So it's updated, I've been using it. You can see still great monster battery life that the A72 has always been giving. That's one of the main reasons to get this. And performance on Android 12, just like on Android 11, nice and smooth. I don't have any complaints about that. I think that's one of the best parts of these A series devices, including the A72. It's got more than enough performance for day-to-day -day tasks. There's no real lag or anything like that. And you get enough horsepower with great battery life in a nice package here, right? Really big, nice AMOLED display, flat display that a lot of people like. And you get that Samsung experience, very similar to what you're getting on their higher-end phones like this Galaxy S21. So the software is very close to it, but it is missing some things and we'll get into that. So things that I am noticing from this update that you know they, they took or implemented from Android 12, if you go into here, wallpapers and style, uh, you can go into color palette now and you can select based off of your wallpaper colors, it'll suggest a color palette. And if you choose it, it'll change you know the look and feel of the UI to that color palette. So you can apply that here just like you can on any other Android 12 device. So that's incorporated here in One UI 4. The other thing that's incorporated here is gonna be widgets. So widgets now has a new look and feel. You can see here they kind of grouped it by all the apps. So if you want to check out all your widgets for Google, you can expand that and you can see all the different widgets there. So a little bit of a different interface for your widgets here in Android 12 One UI 4. And then another one is if you go into gallery here. So if you go back into one of the photos is object eraser. That's missing here on this phone. So if I go into edit and they don't have object eraser here, if I go in, into that three dot menu, you would normally see object eraser here. That's similar to the pixels magic eraser where you can erase things in the, it'll detect objects in the photo like people or whatever else you want to remove from the background and essentially erase it. So that's missing from this A series device, A72 in particular. If I went into my S21 here, went into the gallery, hit edit, and did the same thing. Let's pull up that three dot menu here in the A72. And then on the S21 Ultra, you can see there, there is object eraser in that menu. So that's here on One UI 4 on the S21 Ultra, not here on the A72 devices, and probably not on their A series devices. And so that's a bit disappointing because that was probably one of the cool features that people were really you know, excited about in Android 12 One UI 4 here on the Samsung devices. And another thing I noticed that was added as a part of a standard Android feature is this extra dim feature. So if you notice here, you do have extra dim now. If you tap on that, it'll really reduce the brightness of the display and get it as dim as possible. So extra dim here 
has been implemented as well and is available on the A72. And then lastly, there is the resizable picture in picture. So if you're watching a video like maybe a YouTube video, so let's go ahead and try to launch a video. So my project 13, Anthony, if you're not subscribed, he does some great videos in his car vlogs. And so, but resizable picture in picture, if you're watching a video and you swipe off of it, you can now, you can always move the window around. Now you can actually pinch and enlarge it or to different sizes. So that's a medium size, small size, or just big, and you can still move it around. So resizable floating windows, that is also available here on Android 12, One UI 4 on the A72. So there you go, that's kind of the list of things that I've noticed as far as Android 12 that I use that has changed and or is missing. And you know, there's a whole laundry list of updates. They've updated a whole bunch of their Samsung apps with a bunch of different features and stuff. The change log is huge. But these are the things that I've noticed based off of what I would use from those updates. Let me know in the comments if you've seen other changes or you're using other types of features and enhancements that have been implemented in One UI 4 on your Galaxy A72 or A series device. If I missed it, maybe I'll go check it out. It could be useful for me, but these are the things that I find useful that I use more on a day-to-day -day basis and that I'm benefiting from, from that Android 12 update. And like I said, it's still performing really great after the update, really still fast, fluid, no problems there. And battery life is still tremendous. The camera is still kind of middle of the road. It's good or more than passable. Um, and I think a little bit above average for a phone in this class, but that's really not probably why you're buying it for. You're not gonna buy it for top end camera performance. It is more than passable, but as a total package for about 400 bucks, and maybe you can find it cheaper nowadays because it was released mid last year or early last year. Um, but for, the, for its price point, I think it's offering a lot. It gives you that most of the Samsung experience that you're getting on these higher end devices, still getting more than good enough performance. Tremendous battery life, great looking display at a very good price point. So, and it's gotten the latest One UI 4 Android 12 update. So I think what more can you really ask for at that price point from a device like this? I think it's still getting the updates. It's still getting attention from Samsung and you're getting their most bang for your buck if you had bought this A72 last year or if you can pick it up for even cheaper now. So that's just my quick rundown of the Android 12 update, what I've noticed and what I find useful. Like I said, if you are using any other features that I should check out, drop me a comment down below and I'll maybe I'll check it out. Any other questions or comments, leave it down below. I'll answer what I can. And as always, thanks for watching.